today's video, we're gonna be comparing the 2022 versus 2006 Honda Ridgeline. So first of all, let's go ahead and start with the very basics, the keys. This is what a 2006 Honda Ridgeline key looks like. You got the panic button, the lock button, unlock button, and then here's the new one. This has a key right here that you can pop out. If the key fob doesn't work, you have a lock button, unlock, and then hold, and then you have a panic button. So let's go ahead and start with the exterior of the older Ridgeline. This is 2006. As you can see, it has a lot more sharper angles compared to the newer one. Um, it looks a little bit more sporty. We've put new tires and rims on, so those aren't stock. And then it also came with the um, carriage on the top and then the running boards on the bottom. This one came with the mud flaps there in the front and the back. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the taillights and pretty much all of that. So um, pretty nice. We spilled some paint back there. First thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and look at the back of the truck first. And one thing I wanna point out is this truck is actually taller than the newer one over there, which that's because there is um, there is uh, lifts on this one, some spacers. So over here, you have a little trunk in the back, which is kind of cool, because uh, a lot of trucks don't have that. So you can store your stuff back here. We got some fuel or spare tire. And this one actually has more room than that one up there in the back, which is kind of cool. Um, then, of course, like a normal truck, as it should, has a um, lift gate on it, just like so. Um, on the left side, we're going to go ahead, let's look in the back. This one, uh, as you can tell, it's our work truck. You can put the seats up, which is very nice. You have a lot of room. It even has a bicycle rack, so you can put a road bike or some type of bike in there. Um, and that's pretty cool as well. Over here, you got your power windows, normal door, slots for stuff. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. These ridge lines are known to have an issue with the door cable breaking. So the way you fix that is put a new one on it, put a new one on it, and then before you put it back in, tape it, um, and then um, duct tape it so that it's secure to the part where it connects on here. And you won't have that issue anymore. Over here, you got more um, space. You got your back window, which opens this over there. You have all your windows. You got your child safety lock here. Uh, you can adjust your windows. I don't know what that button does. Probably a ventilation button and then your mirrors So if you're in just your left one push the left and then move it around and then right Over here you have a lot of different items. First of all, you have power seating This is for your fuel. There probably was a cap on that. That's for your hood We'll go ahead and pop that. This is your parking brake. The way you release it is right here on the new ones You push and then push down and unlock brake gas um, over here you have your lights, so if you just want your um, lights on for just the low beams, you can put those on or you can put the lights fully on. And then you have your brights. Over here is your cargo button. If you're towing anything, you want to make sure you press that. Um, this one is four-wheel um, four drive, so it's mostly um, front-wheel drive, but then if you get stuck, you can put it in VTM4 and that's where it connects the diff so that you can use four-wheel drive. Um, over here, these are for your cruise. The way you turn on cruise is right here. VSA is vehicle stability. You can turn that on or off. Um, it's usually always on. And so then this, once you have cruise on, you can actually use this. This is how you go five miles faster, five miles slower, how you turn it off and how you turn it off as well as with that button, um, as well, if you press it. Um, over here is your volume up and down channels mode over here will be your lights. And we will go ahead and crank it up for you guys. So there it goes. You got your blinkers and then your lights. That's bright. That's not bright. It's bright. It's not bright. Can't really see that. Uh, this one has a river camera. Not all of them do. That's an upgrade on this one. Storage compartment. Another storage compartment. Charging stations. Heated seats on both sides. This is your interior rear light. So that's that. AC, you can adjust this, you can turn it off, leave it on, 
Um, dual basically means that the, the air will be blowing out in the rear as well, so you don't have to have that on. And then your, um, I forgot what that meant, but that's that. If you want your AC to stay cold, use the recycle button. Um, your cabin air filter will be over there underneath the glove box. Um, and pretty much you got storage here. You got a nice little storage compartment right here, which we should probably dump all this in here anyways. And then you got more storage. So if you're looking for a good truck for your um, teenager, then this one really will suffice well. Also has a little secret button right here. This is your trunk lock. If you want to lock your trunk, you can do that. Um, and that's that. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much all the inside. Up here is your glasses if you need that. You also have your garage door openers, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and look at the engine. Things working good. Let's go ahead and turn off the AC. So it's using a 3.5 VTEC six cylinder, very good motor. We have 187,000 miles on it, it's going strong. Um, the only thing we had to recently replace was the alternator. Um, our battery and our starter, new starter, new alternator. This one, as you can tell, is starting to already get dirty because it has a slight oil leak. It's leaking, um, it's a sump, some type of uh, valve is uh, needs to be worked on. Your radiator, your fluids, power steering, your brake, um, that's your coolant level, which ours is getting low, we need to fill it back up. And then your transmission, and, uh, and that's pretty much all that. This is an air intake um, spot, and then your oil's right there. So you will have to deal with the starter when it goes out, but so far it's doing great. So that's a quick overview of the ridge line. This is uh, going for around 8,000 bucks in 2022. Still a great truck. I know it can go to 250, but in the event that something catastrophic was to happen, that's why we got a new truck. Uh, so we don't have to worry too much if this one goes under or covered. Um, for me, since I'm 20, my insurance payment's about 595 a month, very expensive. Car payment 700, so I'm paying a lot, but um, we're gonna get that fixed with the insurance. Over here, um, you got pretty nice design. This is pearl white, and they did a really, Beautiful job. I like the tail lights. Has dual exhaust. Um, this one came with a cover. They usually don't, though. You turn that, and then it opens. So pretty nice. You could probably even sleep in here. Has that carpet stuff. Um, and lock this. It is also all-wheel drive, which is much better, and uh, than I think front wheel drive all the tires are spinning over here as you can tell you can see let's lift this thing up real quick but it is trunk is definitely um smaller um than the other one which you know if you like using the trunk then you may like the older ridge line if you don't really need that much space this is not bad and there's the jack this one came with like some Ooh. something's blocking it this one came with some like carpet, carpet material. And uh, so under it, it's just normal stuff. There we go. Okay, so something there was bothering it. Um, and then the way you shut it without it interfering with anything um, is you shut this one first and then you'll be able to shut that ARE. Um, this also has a camera in the back, which is very nice. And I believe there's another camera somewhere because it has a lot of cameras on this thing. Um, and then the way you open this, now that will open and uh, pretty solid tailgate, I will say. So there's that. And then all you got to do is close this. Also, the cool thing with this is it's actually a light. Once you close that, here's how this works. You're gonna turn this, and then if you wanna lock it, you can. I like to leave mine unlocked, because it's just, you know, convenient to use. Over here, you got has a nice pinstripe, says 
truck's name. When you walk up to the car, here's something cool. It'll actually automatically unlock. So if we stand back and we lock it, now watch what happens when we come up. Well, usually works. Okay, so there it goes. Sometimes you can just walk up and it'll automatically unlock. You don't even have to grab the handle. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's also keyless start, um, which is nice because say you want to start the car, but then you got to go to the mailbox. You don't want to turn off the car. So you can just shut the door, um, obviously take the keys with you, and then you can, um, you know, leave the car on. This one has pretty nice design, has a nice uh, beige, and this is all leather right here. Very soft leather too, comfortable. Heated steering wheel, heated seats, not cooled though. Um, you have multiple stuff here. You can set your switches. You have your fuel button. There's the hood for the engine. Go ahead and pop that. Again, the parking brake, you push it all the way down and then push again and it'll release. You have Econ, which is cool. You put that on if you're going on the highway. Uh, a lot of different buttons on here that we're still learning how to use. Over here, you have your um, child safety for the windows. And then pretty much everything else is pretty much the same. Over here, we got a nice design. We have the seats up, very clean. Um, you have some ports here for charging, a little storage spot, and then the vents. So it's pretty cool. As far as driving wise, this one's definitely smoother when it comes to power steering, um, turning, and then accelerating. No, I'll crank right up. The seat also automatically adjust over here you have some storage i kind of like the storage of the older one better you had a more uh secret storage this one opens this way rather than the opposite direction over here you got different buttons this one is auto engine off so if you don't want the truck to go on a low idle at stops you can turn this off this is for low um driving so it even tells you right here what are you driving in um normal snow mud sand so we'll leave that as normal and then that's good over here you got your drive now it's in drive neutral reverse and then of course park so that's very cool um, if you want to put it in neutral while driving for whatever reason just press and hold and it will go in neutral I don't recommend that for any other buttons you press because uh, God knows what will happen. Your Apple CarPlay right there, power outlets. This is a wireless charger. You can just put your phone on and it'll start charging it. Here's your AC. So AC is definitely good. Believe it or not, the AC in my older Ridgeline is actually, um, I would say colder than the newer one, which is kind of insane. Um, you can turn on sync. If you want sync, the, the rear one will turn on. If you want the rear AC on, hit on then rear and then you can adjust the rear settings so you can do a lot or a little which is very nice because um you cannot do it in the other one over here here's your um, hazards over here you got navigation you also can connect your phone truck bed audio we haven't tested that out different settings you can connect your phone and really once you connect it with bluetooth your um your phone will ring on it, it will play music on it. This is how you adjust the brightness and then the volume here, the volume there. Over here, take a call, end a call, um, voice recognition, that's probably with Honda Link. These buttons I haven't really messed with, but I'm assuming these are cruise control. And then these allow you to cycle through different things. You can leave it on that. Um, I guess it's, okay, then it'll go there. I'll tell you how much distance you can go. Your range it's in part has 95 degrees and then if you want to turn off that button that does the auto engine idle stop you can hit this button it'll turn it off now you will have to turn that off every time if you don't want that on um, over here we've got a lot more buttons which we haven't really studied yet but um, if you turn this on it will automatically turn on the auto engine idle off which is nice because a lot of people don't like that when you go to a stop it's kind of weird when you take your foot off the brake, the engine like turns back on and it could be kind of uh, disturbing to some people who don't like that. Glove box, again, trunk lock on, off. 
So pretty much everything is still relatively the same as the older ones, except this one has a sunroof. Um, I like how the back window is right here for the button for that. And as you can see, it opens it, closes it. And then if you want to open the sunroof, you can do that as well. You can also tilt it. So there's that. Um, on, off, door. Okay, so now we can turn that off right there. That's new. And then you can do solo lighting. Over here, here's the mirror. So there we go. Um, gotta say this one's nice because it came with a sunroof. We got a great deal on this. They were marketing for 36 700 and then they tried to sell it to us for 48 but we were able to get them back down to 40,000 even and that's what we bought the car for put 10 down finance the rest um and yeah guys so that's pretty much everything on the inside let's go ahead look at the engine tires these are stock aluminum alloy as you can see right here everything is brand new i like how they covered a lot of it too you know it's all nice and covered so the other one's a little bit more exposed windshield wiper fluid Carney, you check that um everything else is just saying you got your oil dipstick which honestly i don't like because it's uh, at a weird angle um other than that everything else is pretty much the same uses zero w20 the other one uses five w20 and uh, so that's that. There's a look from the outside. Let's talk about lighting. So lighting is interesting. These don't turn off. They stay on. Honda said that's a safety thing. They want people to be able to see you. Over here, these are inlet ports. So air will go in and cool down the brakes. Um, so that's pretty cool. You have your high beams and low beams. You also have fog lights, which is cool. It uses nitrogen, by the way. Uh, the PSI for this one is about 35. Um, I keep it at right around 39 just because I like it a little bit more. Those are solid metal, which are really nice. It does hurt your feet a little bit. Then you got some nice um, running boards on top. Of course, you got the big Honda logo. Again, this truck is seated a lot lower than on the Ridgeline, as you can kind of probably tell. That one has a bigger gap between the tires and uh personally the tires are kind of kind of the same mine on the other one are a little bit more off-road these are a little bit bigger these are decent tires got those 1300 and and the rims um the design on this one is really nice i mean the older models 2017 they didn't look that great it looked more like a van it just looks too um girly not that sporty um, this one has a good balance of, you know, whatever that is. Because <laughs> a lot of people hate on it. They don't like the design. A little bit too boxy, I would say. So they did a better design on that. But they also didn't make it too, not too rigid, but it's also not too soft. Um, and that's something to, to really give credit for this. Um, other than that, just kind of depends on your package that you get. This is the RTLE model not the rtl or the sport um sport is like the basic so this is one above and then if you want to go really all out you can get the um black edition which is their best um model it comes with everything so, so there you guys have it now you know the difference between the newer ridge line for 2022 versus 2006 so the 16 year change in improvements they've done very well um it really doesn't matter what ridge line you get whether you get a new one or an older one you'll both enjoy it very well it has decent power great for starting out if this is your first time getting a truck um although we didn't need to buy a new one i'm definitely glad we did because when this one finally goes out we'll be ready and we'll have a backup and well that one will last us a very long time so if you guys like this video, please leave a comment, like, and definitely subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.